Hey, what's going on everybody on YouTube? EXO coming at you here right in the middle of a four channel amplifier installation, but I had to pump the brakes a little bit because I was missing a crucial piece to the puzzle. Have you ever found yourself in a position you're like right in the middle of an install and you need a distribution block or a fuse block at that with multiple ins and outs? That's the boat I found myself in and I went on Amazon, went on eBay, went to searching and luckily from a suggestion of Everyday Audio's Taylor, we found the T Yang distribution block on Amazon. And because it's so feature packed and has everything that I need, I figured I'd make a little video about it solely. I'll fire it up in this video on the test bench and show you the cool little feature that it has. And I think overall, it'll be a perfect fit for our four channel amplifier install. Here's the situation that I found myself in. I have a second battery mounted up back and I wanted to run a single run of zero gauge to where our aftermarket amplifiers will be mounted. It's a thousand watt amp and roughly a 400 watt amp. So a single run of zero gauge, would be more than enough to power both of them. And I only wanted it on a single run. So when I found this bad boy has a zero gauge input with four outputs being four gauge or eight gauge, cause it has those little inserts. I was like, perfect, that's awesome. And moreover, I can also use the power with fused runs and the ground right here because it has two different sets of blocks. So I'll be able to have everything basically contained in one unit with the power going in on one side, the ground coming in on the other side. And another thing that is also a positive is that it kind of has a pass through. If you push this up right here, there is two spots to connect your one aught on this side and then on this side there is also two spots one coming in on that side and then one coming in on the opposite and what's also really damn cool is that if anything goes wrong these little led lights will illuminate not when things are powered 24 7 so say if you have constant 12 volt power going through this circuit that light will not be on it's only when you have a problem that it will be like hey we, we, we got a big problem here and it will light up red. So I thought that was pretty damn cool, especially for being like 28 bucks. The fuses that it comes provided with come in 30, 60 and 80 amp sizes. Definitely enough for powering the little accessories that I need. I'm just doing that obviously four channel amp and the mono block amp. So I'll probably utilize the biggest size fuse that it has here. All of the notch outs for the wire match up perfectly to the blocks and the clips. Really strong. Holy crap, did you hear that? So even holding it from the top, this thing is not loosey goosey, very solid construction. So let's go ahead and open it up real quick and demonstrate the functionality of this fault light. I have a little alligator set up here with a, a battery tester light. So we'll be able to see the different lights light up. Basically, we're gonna simulate a power run coming into this main run here. So we're gonna take our uh, black uh, alligator clip, don't mind the color, clip it onto the positive main right there at the top. And then we'll hook that up to our battery, just like that. And then we'll pick this fuse right here. It's the first blue one, hook up our other alligator clip, which is the positive. This is our load right here. So the positive of our load on the positive of the fuse block. And then we'll hook up the negative of our load onto our battery. And we will see what happens. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, bam. So right now it says we are, we have a good battery level. See how all the lights are illuminate, illuminated? Green is go. So now let's go ahead and take out our uh, Allen key. It comes with two Allen keys and look at this, a whole bunch of extra little worm nuts. Let's go ahead and demonstrate what happens if something goes wrong. So this right here as it sits represents a perfectly working system. Bass is pumping, speakers are playing, no problems but then something goes wrong. You're having a great old, grand old time. Everything's going great, but then you take a look back there like this, and what do you see? You see this, a red light. And did you see how our voltage totally went away from our load? But all of a sudden we have an indicator telling us that such things happen. Basically, the circuit is no longer continuous. Our fuse has been blown, so our amplifier doesn't work. But thankfully, our red light there tells us about it. So when we replace the fuse, watch our load here. We're taking a brand new fuse. We'll replace it and watch what happens. Bam, we have a green light on our load now and the fault indicator light has turned off. 
Pretty damn cool, huh? Especially for 28 bucks. So we'll take extra care to wire everything up nice and cleanly in our application. Stay tuned for the full four channel install video. We just uh, upgraded our head unit so we have nice pre-out voltage going to everything. So if you're interested in picking up one of these T-Yang distribution slash fuse blocks, pretty damn cool. I'll include all the information right in the description, guys. I'll definitely be putting mine uh, to use here very soon. All right, I gotta get my ashed up to sundown, guys. I'm heading up to the sundown show in Hickory. I hope you guys will be there too because it's gonna be a doozy. All right, guys, I'll talk to you in the next video. This is EXO, signing out. Bye, guys!